signs that you are manifesting the love of your life into your life. You're manifesting that specific person that you have your heart's desire set on. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful ego. Oh yes, we are. And we're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. You know it, you got it. This is your channel for money, for love, for happiness, for the law of attraction. Want to remind you to subscribe because we're here all the time with new videos to empower your life. So high flyers, we want to remind you to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Find out what a mentoring program can do for your life. I mean, seriously, seriously, you deserve a miracle in your life. We believe that signs that you are manifesting the love of your life into your life. So number one is you've been doing a lot of clearing work. You've been clearing past trauma, past pain. You've been clearing limiting beliefs and doubts and fears and anxieties. You're no longer looking outside for your answers. You're now looking within. You see 8% of our consciousness is our ego. The rest is our unconscious 92%. And so if you have trauma, pain, fear, doubt, limiting beliefs trapped in your unconscious mind, it's likely to, uh, to interfere with your conscious goals or your conscious dreams and desires. And so, you need to do some clearing work. And if you've been doing this clearing work and you've been clearing out all that old pain and you're just feeling good about yourself, you like yourself, then that's a huge sign that now you are ready. You are prepared to allow that special someone into your life, the love of your life into your life, that specific person. So many of you know that my alarm clock for many years was the famous James Brown. I feel good. Bah, 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 bah. Anyway, I'd get up to that in the morning and go dancing around my apartment and I would just pump myself up. I would do the power pose and I'd get that a, adrenaline pumping through my body. I'd get fired up. I'd start burning some affirmations into my subconscious mind. I really felt good about myself. I still do because listen, when you are clear of all that negative pain and all that doubt and all those limiting beliefs, you start to feel really good about you. And so if you noticed that, wow, I just feel good about me. I like the way my body's starting to look and feel. I like the way my thoughts are going in the right positive direction. I like the friends that I'm attracting. I like how things are flowing into my life. If that's what's happening to you, that's a big sign that the love of your life, perhaps your soulmate, that specific person is now ready to come into your life. Oh, I, I feel a love affair about to happen. Well, high flyers. Number three is you're starting to feel clear about your life purpose. You understand that you have a reason for being here. I, I don't think it's ever too late for me. It came late in life. Uh, my purpose was always just about feeling good. But when I, when I met Rachel, and we formed a partnership and a love relationship. And then we had a child together. I realized I had a bigger purpose, a bigger mission. What is your purpose? What is your mission other than to just find somebody to love you?
because if you're looking for someone to love you, you're never going to find them. You have to be hooked on your own mission, your own dream, your own direction. When you understand that, then you understand how to increase magnetism and you start drawing all kinds of positive people around you, including good friends, business associates, opportunities, and the love of your life into your life. That specific person that's just going to make you feel so very good. So high flyers, you know what I really like is when a client tells me, they say, Robert, you know, I've just set effort and I just feel good about me and I feel good about my direction and I feel good about my goals and my dreams and I feel detached. And then a week or two later, they call me and they go, you're not going to guess what happened. I'm back together with the love of my life, or I just met the love of my life. And that's a wonderful feeling. Because all of a sudden you realize that you don't have to try so hard to attract the love of your life into your life. You just have to be you at your highest version. That's all you need to do. If you're willing to do that, put your energy into you, you're going to be amazed at the kind of love that you attract into your life. Well, high flyers next on my list is dreams. You just dream about this person and maybe it's someone you've met. Maybe it's someone, you know, maybe it's an ex, maybe it's uh, somebody you've never met before, but they pop into your dreams and the two of you are in an intermingling. It's because you have a bond already. Even if you aren't together, you have a bond. And so what's happening is kind of a quantum entanglement. And it's, it's taking place where the two of you are connecting with each other and on the same vibe, the same frequency. And that can only mean that contact is eminent. Well, next, uh, is intuition. And so you just feel this, you know, I, I know that nothing physically has shown up yet, Robert. I haven't seen anything yet, but I just, my intuition tells me I'm seeing numbers. I'm having feelings. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm just absolutely certain that the love of my life is ah, moving into my life. And when you have that intuition, that's a powerful, strong sign. That means that you're clear and you're allowing that universal energy to flow through you and you're tapping into it. And then number seven is you are allowing universal timing to take place because a day too soon, the door still closed a day too late. The door has opened and closed, but with universal timing, you show up at the right time, or should I say they show up at the right time? Or should I say you both show up at the right time? and only good things happen and flow in your direction and come your way. You deserve that love. I mean that. And we believe, listen, if you've been in, in a, in a love relationship where you've been hurt, devastated, we believe that if you loved once and love deeply, you can love again, deeper, stronger, the second time around. Hey, want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. It helps our algorithm so we can reach more people. Thank you so much. We love you. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.